So two months ago, I picked up the SteelSeries Arctis 9X wireless headset to see if it was the best headset available for the Xbox Series X. Now, I did an unboxing and first impression video on this headset, and I did come to the conclusion that this is the best option available for the next-gen Xbox. But everything changed, baby, because literally right after I made that video, Microsoft announced that they were gonna be releasing the Xbox wireless headset. Now, what really piqued my interest about this headset is it comes in at $100 which is half the price of this guy. And since it is a wireless headset, 100 bucks usually is a steal, so I had to pick it up to see if the quality was worth it. So is the wireless Xbox headset the best headset for the Series X? I don't know yet. But what I do know is my name is Squiz, also known as the Elusive Squirrel, and we're gonna unbox this bad boy today, and I'm gonna give you a few first impressions. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you hated it, hit the dislike button too. And I will be coming out with a part two directly comparing them to these bad boys, so sit tight on that. All right guys, so let's take a look at the box itself. Uh, super simplistic. You just got a picture of the headset here. Xbox branding on the upper left. As you can tell, it just doesn't have a fancy name. It's just wireless headset. Over to the side, you just got a picture of the headset itself here. And over on the other side, you're just going to see that this headset is compatible with the Xbox Series S, Xbox One, and Windows 10. The important thing to note there is this will work on older consoles as well. So if you have just the regular Xbox One, that'll work with it. And then lastly, this is USB-C charging. I was actually really happy about that. The Steel Series didn't include that one. So bonus points for USB-C charging there. Now over to the back, you can see it says, Xbox wireless pair directly with your console for high fidelity sound on the go audio connect your mobile devices via Bluetooth 4.2 for wireless chat and music this is what you love to see in a headset uh, I love playing music when I'm playing something simple like NBA 2k or Madden when you don't really need the game sound that much crystal clear chat and I have heard the mic on this thing is really good for the price you pay and then last thing it says flexible and lightweight apparently it's a super lightweight headset yeah, enough chatting about the box. Let's get right into it. Another bonus point for Microsoft for having these easy peel stickers here. You have to play around with my knife trying to get this bad boy open. All right, now that we got the sticker off, I believe we just lift up. Here it is, the moment of truth. Oh! And boom, there it is, right in your face. Nothing fancy with their packaging. You guys know how Microsoft does it. It's just right in your face. It is great presentation, though. And ooh. This is really lightweight. That's the, my, my very first impression of it is it's very lightweight. So yeah, these things are super lightweight. And one of the first things people will notice is that this is plastic. You can see the outside of the ear cups and the headband is a plastic. So if you are comparing it to something like the Steel Series Arctis 9X, it might feel a little cheaper. But the thing to keep in mind is this is literally half the price of that headset. So I mean, I think this is perfectly fine for what you pay for it at $99. As you can see here, you got the Xbox branding that looks really slick on the side of the ear cup there. Now you can see you got right and left marked off in the ear cups there. Now for the materials you're getting on the ear cup and the headband here is a nice pleather. It's super soft and super squishy. Even with my glasses, I don't think this one will really bother me. Uh, it definitely seems fitted for long-term gaming sessions. And one of the coolest things about this headset to me is the volume control. So as you can see here, this side, you actually rotate the whole outside of the cup. This dictates regular volume. So if you want the volume of your game or party chat up, you would just mess with this guy here. And then on the other side, the one with the mic, this is gonna be your mixer. So this is balancing game chat and party chat. So it's super easy to just twist this here and adjust the volume. I've had so many times in first person shooters where you're like trying to find the rocker and that won't matter here because the whole ear cup, you can twist super easily. The mic has actually like a little flexible arm. It's not like the Steel Series where it reverts back into the ear cup, but you can flip it up really easily there. Now these don't twist around your neck either. They are stuck in this position. This is a little bit of a thin band, maybe something to be concerned about. In my case, not so much, but if you have kids or it's a younger player or even just a rage gamer, this might be something to take note of here. It is pretty thin. Um, again, it does not twist. The headband is how you adjust the size here. As you can see, you can make this thing pretty huge. And I actually thought this was the mute button, but this is the, the power button. So the mute button, I don't know if you can catch it right there. It's right on the microphone itself. Uh, the power button is tucked away nice so you won't accidentally hit the power button when trying to mute your headset. So I do like the design there. And yeah, that's enough for the headset. Let's put that away right now. Let's see what else comes in the box. And boom, there's really nothing else to it. Got a couple manuals here. Uh, let's see if they have anything important. It's probably just gonna go over the controls I just showed you guys. And yeah, it's just showing your power button. You can actually go to the accessories app like you would your controllers here and do any firmware updates. And you got this fancy Microsoft paperwork here. This is all crazy stuff that nobody will ever read. And then yeah, last up, it is a USB-C charger, which is pretty sweet for headsets. A lot of headsets still use micro USB-C. 
Um, so this is great to see that they went, went ahead and did the USB-C charging port on it. The cord though is super short. I don't know if you can really tell. Look at the box and then the cord. The cord's like a little bit bigger than the box, but not by much. So it's like a foot. So make sure to charge before you play people. So after a couple hours with the headset, I gotta say, I love the way these feel. I wasn't a fan of the plastic build here when I first opened up the box, but I gotta say this does feel super lightweight. It feels super comfortable on your head. So maybe that's not the worst thing. I loved the way the ear cups fit on my ear. Now these did fit a little snug, but they felt super comfortable. And especially with my glasses, they didn't bother me at all. A lot of times headsets can bother people with glasses, but the ear cups felt perfect. They didn't push the glasses into my head. The only thing I will know is your ears do get pretty hot in them. They're not like a mesh breathable material. So you may get some sweaty ears while using those bad boys. The sound quality for what you get with $100 is incredible. It is a little bass heavy, but for a lot of people, that's not a bad thing. I certainly didn't think it was a bad sound. I think it's definitely worth the money to pick up, especially for a true wireless headset. It connects to your console super easily. Again, you can update it with the accessories app. This headset is perfect for Xbox fans that don't want to break the bank but want premium sound quality. Especially if you're just an Xbox gamer, I can't recommend these enough. Obviously, these aren't multi-platform headphones. They do work with Windows 10 PCs and Xbox, but that's it. There is no aux port. You won't be able to use them with the Nintendo Switch or PS4 or 5. So like I said, you really have to be a big fan of Xbox or an Xbox only gamer to really want to pick these up. Now again, I'm going to be making a video comparing these two headsets, the $100 Xbox headset, the $200 SteelSeries headset, and we're going to see the pros and cons of these bad boys. So definitely subscribe if you're looking forward to that and comment down below which headset are you using or which headset's your favorite to game with. It's been your boy Squiz. If you made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you and I will catch you on the next video.